Hi guys. Well, as usual, story of my life. I'm a day late and a dollar short, but it's okay. No, really, what this is about is, <laughs> I've been kind of puny at the end of the week, and uh, I've been in on the collaboration with Miss Vicki from Miss Vicki's uh, Country Home and uh, for the Family Members Monday collaboration. And I didn't get one made yet, so I'm falling behind. So, anyways, this video is going to be about my whole family. I am originally from Texas. I was born in Greensville, Texas, so I'm rooted pretty deep in Texas. I've got family that still lives there, and even Miss Vicki from Vicki's Country Home, she's from San Antonio, Texas, so I know her roots are deep there in Texas, too. But... Today, I'm going to make one of my favorites, and that is Tex-Mex Texas Chili. And it's a chili recipe that I grew up with, which it's a little bit different than probably what most people make with like, uh, well up here in the hills of Arkansas, most people up here make chili with tomato sauce or uh, tomato juice or just a lot of tomato in it. But real Texas chili that I'm used to, you might, I'm going to put a little bit of tomato paste in it, but a lot of the recipes don't have any tomatoes in it. And most of the time they don't even put beans in it. But I think today I'm going to put beans in mine because we're going to have chili for supper with uh, probably, some, I'm going to cut up some flour tortillas and fry them up to put on top of the chili with some cheese and it'll really be good. So anyways, I hope Miss Vicki, I know she's not mad at me, but I promised her I'd do this and I'm going to do it. So this is for my family in Texas and this is for Miss Vicki's family. So y'all hang around. I think you're going to like this recipe. Okay guys, we're going to get started on this chili. I've got my hamburger meat here in the pot. It's about a pound. Now, if you want to double this, you can, but it's just me and Danny tonight, so I'm not going to make a big old pot. So I've got a pound of hamburger meat. And I'm going to put, I'm going to salt my meat just a little bit. And put a little bit of pepper on my meat. I'm going to throw in about half a cup of onions. And I'm going to put in two teaspoons of garlic. Now that's just the, just at this point, that's just for to brown the hamburger meat up good. All the seasonings come in here just a little bit when I get all this browned up and get the onions cooked up. So... I'm going to let this hamburger meat brown up, and we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, I got my meat browned up good. It smells good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make me a little spot there in the middle. I'm going to put me a can of tomato paste. This is from Thrive Markets, organic tomato paste. I order quite a bit from Thrive Market. I like their stuff. My carry all organic. Okay. I'm going to let this tomato paste cook just a little bit. Just It gives it a better flavor if you cook that paste and you don't want it to burn or anything bottom of your pot, you just want to cook. I tell you, growing up in Texas, <clears throat> there's there's so many different I mean, you could just about have anything you want wanted there. You could have uh, we ate gumbo, Tex Mex, some of the best briskets you ever ate, you know, barbecue out of this world. Homemade tortillas, and I tell you, I love guacamole. I could live off that stuff, and I 
I eat it here. I got my husband and we got married. He started eating Tex Mix and he really likes it too. And I guess that's the reason I like this chili recipe because it has that Tex Mix flavor. Okay, that's cooked a little bit. So, also, I'm going to put in two tablespoons of uh, chili powder or any kind of chili mix that you use. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of oregano. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to put in two tablespoons of cumin. Now, if I had to choose one spice that I could have for the rest of my life, and that would be it, it would be cumin. I love this stuff on everything. Okay, I'm going to mix that up, and I'm going to let these seasonings cook a little bit and let the aromas Romans come out on the seasonings. It always helps to warm them spices up like that. It just brings the... The smell, the flavors out really well. Now I'm going to start mixing this up together. I know you're thinking that does not look like chili, but it's fixing to come together here in just a minute. Now, uh, this is going to be a thick chili. It's not going to be real soupy. Now I'm just going to let this just cook for just a minute. Now, I know some people like really hot chili, and you can adjust the spices and, you know, the, you can put jalapenos in it. I can't eat jalapenos. They tear me up, but I do like them. My husband likes them. My sons love them. But, uh, and that's the good thing about chili. I mean, a chili, you can pretty much just make it to the way you like it, and it usually always comes out good. Okay, so that's cooked a little bit. Now, I'm going to show y'all something. In this cup, I've got two cups of beef broth. Now, with this beef broth, I have a half a cup of masa stirred in with it. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. It's what you make corn tamales with, corn tortillas. And it's a half a cup, just of the dry masa, that I have stirred in, too, with two cups of beef broth. And this is what gives your chili that Tex-Mex flavor. Now, if you don't want it, I like it really, I like that corn taste, that masa taste. So if you don't like, want that much, just put a fourth of a cup with two cups of beef broth, and that will be fine. So I'm going to put this in here. And it's all going to be good, I promise you. And I'm going to stir this up. Now I've got a third of a cup of green chilies. Now at this point you can put a can of Rotel. I don't care for Rotel myself, so I'm just going to put the green chili part. And we're just going to keep stirring. Now, I'm going to put beans in this for our supper tonight, but at this point you don't have to because I'll tell you what you can do with this. You can use this chili just like it is and you can top enchiladas with it and it's great. Or make chili dogs or uh, Frito pies. And if you don't like beans, just don't put them in there. But you see how thick this chili is. And this chili, when I put the beans in it, um, I gotta make sure I got all my spices in there. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna show y'all what kind of beans I'm fixing to put in there. I got these at Walmart. They're organic. I'm out of canned beans. I've got to start canning. This is a tri-bean blend, and it's got kidney beans, black beans, and pinto beans in it. It's organic. And they weren't that expensive. So that's what I'm going to put in there. I drained and rinsed them. I don't even know if I'm going to... Yeah, I'll put them all in there. 
Now, if you feel like this chili is too thick, put you a little bit more broth in it. I may have to put a little bit more broth in it before it's over with because it is pretty thick since I put all them beads in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'll probably put about another cup of beef broth in it. And then I'm going to put the lid on it and I'm going to let it simmer for about 30, 30 minutes. That's all it's probably going to take. So, when it's done, we'll be back. Okay, while the chili's simmering over here, I want to show y'all what I've I'm going to do to top the chili with, and uh, I cut up some flour tortillas in bite-sized pieces, and I'm just going to spread them out here in this fry pan, and I'm going to fry these just like I would fry a pan of fried potatoes. I don't want to put too many because they won't brown up very good, so I'll do them in batches, but I just have a little bit of oil down there in the bottom. And uh, I'm just going to keep stirring them so they don't burn. And uh, just kind of fry them, like I said, like you would fried potatoes, and they're really good. We we'll eat them a lot of stuff. I'll do this, and I'll throw a, I'll make up a bunch of taco meat. And I'll fry up a bunch of these like this, and I'll just put them on a plate. And uh, put that taco meat on top with cheese and and lettuce and tomato and just whatever you have and it's it's just really good but anyways I'm gonna let these brown up just a little bit here it is guys it's done it took about 30 minutes look how thick that is it's good thick chili now if you want a little bit thinner you could put you the water in a little more beef broth but I like thick chili and I'm going to put me a little cheese on it. And here are some flour tortillas that I cut up and fried. You hear how crispy it is? And I'm just going to break them up over that chili. Be good. You know, I was telling you, you before you put the beans in this chili, it, the stuff is really good on enchiladas. It, it really gives enchiladas really good taste. But I just love this chili. And I hope y'all do too. Now, I ended up having to put a cup of water in this chili because I was stingy with the masa because I love that corn taste so much. And I put a half a cup with two cups of beef broth. And I should have just put a fourth of a cup of masa with the two cups of beef broth. And it wouldn't have been that thick. So I ended up having to add a little water to it. But it still turned out really, really good. So I'm going to taste this. Mm. That's really good. I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Make it. I think y'all really like it. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And uh, I'll be back to see you with another video. So y'all take care and God bless.